Hey guys, it's the Onyx Blader, and welcome to another unboxing. We're going to be uh, checking out uh, the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel Duelist of Tomorrow. If you haven't watched my last video, I was unboxing the uh, Destiny Masters. So right over here, I checked out uh, all the cool new cards and everything. Well, not new, but they're like like reprints of older cards, but it's still really cool. But anyways, um, this one comes with uh, My Valentine, Joey Wheeler, and Kaiba. Yeah, let's uh, crack this guy open. I really like the back. These are like, these are pretty cool. So let's open this up and uh, see what is inside. All right, so here's everything out of the box. This is the uh, the playmat. It shows the playmat as well as the instructions on the other side. So you can see the instructions over here. And then yeah, it's the it's the exact same playmat as the one we opened in the last video. The Dark Magician on this side, Blue Eyes on the other side. But yeah, we don't need to really look too close to that. Okay, I folded up incorrectly. But anyways, let's check out um, these promo cards. Alright. All right, and this one is a Champion's Vigilance, which... oops. Okay, if you control a level 7 or higher normal monster, when a monster would be summoned or a spell trap card would be activated, negate the summon of the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is good for the Kaiba deck. Then next we have <laughs> Fusion Gate. And this is pretty much while the card is on the field, the the while this card is on the field, the turn the turn player can fusion summon one fusion monster from the extra deck. By banishing fusion materials listed on the on their hand or in the field. Okay. This is good for um, Joey because I think he has the flame swordsman or whatever. And then we have um, Amazonas Village, which is a field spell. Whoops. Okay, all Amazonas monsters gain 200 attack. Once per turn, when an Amazonas monster is destroyed by battle and or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Amazonas monster from your deck. With a level less than or equal to the Amazon Amazonist monster in the graveyard. And obviously that's for uh, my Valentine. So I guess we will first look at the my Valentine one. I heard this one was the most uh, consistent one out of the out of all the decks. Alright, and let's open this up. Alright, and the first uh, I think skill card is uh, Aroma Strategy. If you remember in the anime, she used her uh, perfume to tell which card it was. So you may look at the top card of your deck at any time. The next skill card is Flight of the Harpies. So if you lose 1,800 or more life points, you can activate this skill during your next draw phase. During your draw phase, you may search one deck for a Harpy card. Reveal it to your opponent. Add that card to your hand instead of drawing. If you do that, flip this card over. And then Tribal Synergy. If you have an Am Amazonist monster and a Harpy monster in your hand, reveal them and draw one card. If you control an Amazonist monster and a Harpy monster, draw two cards. Each of these skills can only be used once per duel. So yeah, that's not bad. That was it. Tribal Synergy. Okay, so now we're going to go through the actual deck. So we have Harpy Lady number one. Classic, classic cards. Harpy Lady number two. Harpy Lady number three, Harpy Lady Sisters, Amazonas Chain Master, Amazonas Sword Woman, Amazonas Sage, Bird Bird Face. Sounds like an insult. Hey Bird Face, what are you doing? The Sonic Shooter, and then the Elegant Egotist, uh, two of those, Triangle Ecstasy Spark, Cyber Shield, Harpy's Hunting Ground, Amazonas Heirloom. Amazonist Archers, Windstorm of Etwaka, Etwaka, uh, Shadow of Eyes. This is actually this is a really cool card. I really like it when it's holographic. That would be super cool. And then Wild Tornado. So that is the um, My Valentine Amazon Harpy Lady, Harpy Lady deck. <laughs> right. And ne next week we'll check out the Joey Wheeler or Jinochi if you are a weeaboo. Okay, let's check this guy out. Oh no, I messed up opening this one. So I've been wanting to keep these safe because I actually really like 
these and also it's not good to like throw a bunch of stuff out right I like re recycling these as like show pieces and whatever but I accidentally messed this one up which is super sad so I'll have to like tape it or something but uh, yeah let's get to the cards the Joey Wheeler deck and so the first car card is grit at the start of your turn call two numbers and roll a six-sided die oh no I already hate this card already if you roll a number you called your life points do not get lower than one until the end of your opponent's next turn. This skill can only be used once per duel. Eh, I don't know how I feel about that. Way too random for my taste. And then we have Last Gamble. Oops. Okay. At the start of your fifth turn, activate this skill. Counts for both players' turns. During your main phase, you may reduce your life points to 100, and discard two cards from your hand. Roll a six-sided die and draw cards equal to the result. This skill can only be used once per do- Oh no, that's another bad one. What the heck? <sighs> Palomization! <laughs> I guess that's, uh, polarization. During your turn, you may reveal one normal monster in your hand. This turn, that monster can be substitute for any fusion material. If you do... The other fusion material must be the correct one. This skill can only be used once per duel. So I get this is like the best one out of the bunch. But yes, I don't know why those other two ones are like heart garbage. And oh yeah, we get a red eyes a black dragon. This is a cool one. We get a meteor dra Oh, don't are we gonna get red eyes black meteor dragon? That'll be super cool. Flame manipulator. Masaki, the legendary swordsman. Alligator sword. Does he have the, uh, the accent to it? Hey, this is my, this is my lizard man can swing this sword super fast. That it's more than the speed of Sam. They gave him a, that was a horrible accent. Sorry, we got Baby Dragon, Time Wizard, Little Wingard, Copycat, Gearfried the Iron Knight, Polymization, another one. Stray Lambs, Legendary Sword, Sogan, the <laughs> this Dice Foon, Graceful Dice, Skull Dice, Kunai with Chain, Red Eye Spirit, Flame Swordsman, of course, Thousand Eye Dragon. Oh, okay, Alligator Sword Dragon. Okay, I was really, I was kind of expecting Red Eye's Black Meteor Dragon just because of, you know, Meteor Dragon and uh, whatever. That would have been really cool to have, but still, Flame Swordsman. Wow, these are some really old cards. I really dig Flame Swordsman. He'd be really cool to have a holographic of. I know they released a blue Flame Swordsman a couple years ago. Or maybe even longer than a couple years ago. It's been a long time. But yeah, that's uh, Palomization. That's the Joey Wheeler deck. And finally, the main event. The best guy. He's um obsessed with uh, Atem. It's Kaiba Man. All right, peak performance. All dragon wing beats monster wing beats thunder monsters on the field gain two hundred and two hundred attack and defense. That's just that's just mountain. Yeah, this is pretty much just mountain, but in a uh, skill card. Next we have a beat down. Oh yeah, this is my favorite one in uh, Duel Links as well. You control level five or higher monster. You can activate this skill. All monsters you currently control gain 300 attack for each level five or higher monster you control. At the end of the turn, you flip this card over. Yeah, this is my yeah my favorite uh, skill card on Duel Links. Then we have Dragon Caller. <laughs> Look at this guy laughing. And this one comes with two effects. All right, once per duel, you can use one of the following skills. If you've success if you have successfully normal summoned Lord of D. Add one flute of summoning dragon from your deck to your grave or your graveyard to your hand. Reveal future if you reveal the flute of summoning dra if, <laughs> if you reveal the flute flute of summoning dragon from your hand, then add one Lord of D from your deck or your graveyard to your hand. So that's uh pretty cool. Alright, sorry about that. Now we'll go through the cards. There we go, the tablet blue eyes with dragon. I prefer the um the other ones, not the tablet one. We got battle ox. Oh two of him. Ryu Kishin Powered, two of that. Luster Dragon number two, Lord of D, two of that. Twin Headed Behemoth, Tyrant Dragon, Spirit Ryu, Kaiba Man, it's like looking in a mirror. 
Flute of Summoning Dragon, Stamping Destruction, Cost Down. Burst Stream of Destruction. Mountain. Interdimensional Matter Transporter, Dragon's Rebirth, and Trap Jammer. So yeah, that was the uh, Kaiba deck. So yeah, that was a look at the uh, new Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel deck, Duelists of the Future, or I think that's what they're called. Yeah, Duelists of Tomorrow. But yeah, um, that was pretty cool. I really, I'm really digging the uh, character skill cards or whatever they call it. But yeah, um, that's everything for today, and I will check you out too. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, um, I upload videos every single day. So if you're into Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Dueling, you can you can expect some more. Uh, you know, videos on this. I'm really uh, interested in taking a look, a deeper look at Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Dueling because, I mean, it's like a brand new kind of thing from Yu-Gi-Oh! It's like back to the old school type of way of doing things. But yeah, so um, if you subscribe for some uh, more uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Dueling stuff, I also do Bakugan and Beyblade videos, so if that interests you, you can also check those out as well. So yeah, and don't worry for the people who are here for Bakugan and Beyblade, I'm still doing that. This is just another thing I'm adding to the collection of hobbies that I'm into. So yeah, I will catch you tomorrow.